Hello, I'm Dan Robinson, Operational Manager here at Fayetteville Public Television. This is the FPTV Update, third quarter, 2018. Let's start off with some highlights. The third quarter of 2018 overall had continued steady participation and growth. Our equipment use continues to increase. We are premiering new and exciting FPTV-supported original programming. We have worked on active promotion and community partnerships, and we have been implementing new and exciting initiatives, including our new operational software. Let's begin by taking a look at education. In the third quarter, we offered 119 class opportunities. These are a combination of regularly scheduled and independently scheduled class opportunities. When it comes to educational participation, so far this year we've had 159 participants result in 351 participations. Notable increases include a 20% increase in basic editing class participation, a 90% increase in studio class participation, and a 300% increase in studio lab participation. Our other classes, by and large, have continued steadily, resulting in a 16% overall year-to-year -year increase in our educational participation. The overall test score average in September was 100%, which indicates that our students are finding success in our class offerings. In the third quarter, we added four new certified producers, 23 new candidate producers, and one new outside producer. The following is an overview of current production and user activity. A candidate producer is someone who has taken our classes and is qualified to check out our equipment. A certified producer is someone who has completed a program using FPTV resources and submitted it for telecast. An active producer is someone who is checking out equipment to work on a production. An inactive producer is someone who has taken our classes but has not yet checked out equipment. An outside producer is someone who submitted a program that they produced with their own equipment. A roll-off producer is someone who has not interacted with the operation in over 12 months and has been rolled off the roster as a result. FPTV is currently supporting 59 active productions, a record high for this year. Those productions include FPTV Open Mic, A Man After God's Own Heart, Later with Jason Sewell, multiple internal productions about what is happening here at FPTV, the studio show More Information, Less Validation, Parkour and Free Running, a brand new series called Cool Shirts, and a new music video show called Shindig Music TV. Let's take a moment and check out our third quarter FPTV sizzle reel.
Our community service production, Open Mic, is an opportunity for any resident of Washington and Benton County to come in and have five minutes to share their thoughts, information, or talents with a television and internet audience. We have seen an increase in participation of this resource since rebranding it to Open Mic. Open Mic recording times are Monday, 5 to 6 p.m. and Thursday, 11 a.m. to noon. No appointment required. We encourage anyone who wants to share information with the community to come take advantage of this resource. Let's take a look at equipment utilization. Equipment utilization continues to grow here at FPTV. Notably, we have had a 32% increase in our edit bay use from last year. The edit bays continue to be high in demand. We also had a 15% increase in laptop checkouts. We have had a nearly 10% increase in overall studio use, despite the studio being closed for the entire month of July for upgrades. We have also had a 20% increase in field camera checkouts. Altogether, we have had a 20% increase from last year in overall equipment use. Here we have a chart showing equipment activity. You can clearly see the dip in both studio and edit bay use as a result of the studio being closed for the month of July. And yet, our year-to-date numbers still exceed last year's. We have not had any formal complaints in 2018. This continues more than six years without a formal complaint. On the back of every test, there's a survey where participants can give us feedback about their experience. They can rate from one to five if the instructor was knowledgeable and friendly, if the class material was presented in a user-friendly format, and most importantly, if after the class they feel prepared to apply the skills they have learned. The average survey results in September were all fives, indicating the participants had a positive educational experience. Let's talk about programming. FPTV premiered 74 new FPTV-supported programs in the third quarter. The FPTV community continues to be an active content creator, averaging over 20 new shows per month this year. Here at FPTV, we are constantly looking for new ways to raise awareness about our resources. Our outreach and promotional activity have included sponsorship of the Fayetteville Film Festival, the Ozark Media Arts Festival, and the upcoming TEDx Fayetteville. We've had print advertising in the Idle Class Magazine and digital advertising in the Fayetteville Flyer. We have pursued partnerships with organizations including Arts Live Theater, Northwest Arkansas Community College, the University of Arkansas, the Yvonne Richardson Center, and the Fayetteville School District. Through social media, we've had an active presence on Facebook and Instagram, resulting in a steady increase in our Facebook likes and an expanded reach through boosted posts. In the third quarter, we had over 3,000 views on YouTube. One of our biggest recent accomplishments is that we have completed the design and launch of our new website and user portal. Thanks to a partnership with the University of Arkansas Computer Engineering and Sciences Department, we worked with a software development team to create new operational software for FPTV. We launched the software in July and became fully dependent on it as of August 1st. In September, we produced a mini documentary about the development process, as well as a guided instructional video to help people get started. We have had great feedback from our community about this new resource, especially about being able to make their reservations in advance online. We encourage you to visit our YouTube channel to watch the mini doc about the development called Building Solutions. In conclusion, the third quarter continued what looks to be another year of growth and development in the FPTV operation. FPTV is serving a growing and active production community. We are working hard to raise awareness of FPTV and its resources. We are continuing to premiere locally focused original content as an active content creator here in Northwest Arkansas. And your media as the service provider is always looking for new ways to better serve the city and the community. We encourage you to like us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay connected with the great things happening here at FPTV. You can watch FPTV on Cox 218, ATTU verse 99, and streaming on YouTube Live. You can visit our website at faypublic.tv to find out more information and to create a profile to get started. It is our pleasure to offer these unique resources here in the heart of Fayetteville. We hope you will join us, either as a part of our production community or as part of our viewing community. Here at FPTV, we are here to help you make your video ideas a reality. Thank you.